Let me get you some help, Truman. You're not well. Why do you want to have a baby with me? You can't stand me. That's not true. <laughs> Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mococo drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua, no artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I've tasted other Cocos. This is the best. to enjoy things again. I feel these aches and pains. The guilt. My sleep just isn't right. I'm so anxious. Cymbalta can help with many symptoms of depression. Tell your doctor right away if your depression worsens, you have unusual changes in behavior or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young People adults. People taking MAOIs or thyridazine or with uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Taking it with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners may increase bleeding Tell risk. your doctor about alcohol use, liver disease, and before you reduce or stop taking Gen. Cymbalta. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Go to Cymbalta.com to learn about a free trial offer. Things just don't feel like they used to. These are some symptoms of depression, a serious medical condition affecting over 20 million Americans. Approximately two out of three people being treated for depression still have depression symptoms. I'm on an antidepressant, but I'm still not where I want to be with my symptoms. If your antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. If you are one of the millions of people who live with uncontrollable worry, anxiety, and several of these symptoms for six months or more, you could be suffering from generalized anxiety disorder.
side effects may include decreased appetite, dry mouth, sweating, nausea, constipation, sexual side effects, tremor, fatigue, or sleepiness. Don't stop taking Paxil before talking with your doctor. People taking MAOIs or thyroidizing should not take Paxil. High blood sugar has been reported with Abilify and medicines like it. In some cases, extreme high blood sugar can lead to coma or death. Other risks include decreases in white blood cells, which can be serious, dizziness upon standing, seizures, trouble swallowing, and impaired judgment or motor skills. People taking MAO inhibitors should not take Paxil. Side effects may include decreased appetite, dry mouth, sweating, nausea, constipation, sexual side effects in men and women, yawn, tremor, or sleepiness. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. Only Abilify is FDA approved to treat depression in adults when added to an antidepressant. Depression may be related to an imbalance of natural chemicals between nerve cells in the brain. Prescription Zoloft works to correct this imbalance. You just shouldn't have to feel this way anymore. Paxil helps correct the chemical imbalance that may be associated with this disorder so that with time and your doctor's help, you can move toward recovery. You could be suffering from generalized anxiety disorder and a chemical imbalance could be to blame. Paxil works to correct this imbalance to relieve anxiety. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help with many symptoms of depression. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help. Learn about a free trial offer from Abilify. Go to Cymbalta.com to learn about a free trial offer. your doctor about Cymbalta. Talk to your doctor about Zoloft. If you're taking an antidepressant and still feel depressed, one option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. taking an antidepressant, but I think I might need more help. Approximately two out of three people being treated for depression still have depression symptoms. If your antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. Only Abilify is FDA approved to treat depression in adults when added to an antidepressant. Learn more about Abilify. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Elderly dementia patients taking Abilify have an increased risk of death or stroke. High blood sugar has been reported with Abilify in medicines like it. seizures, impaired judgment or motor skills, or trouble swallowing. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me.
Zoloft is not habit forming. The Paxil is non habit forming. And that leads to withdrawal problems. All the psychiatric drugs are not only dangerous to start, Kathy, they're dangerous to stop because you can have horrendous adverse effects. There are many people in your listening audience today who can't get off of Paxil and Prozac and the other drugs. The drug companies hid this for a long, long time. Can't get off because why? Well, they'll get terrible neurologic reactions, shocky feelings in the head, electrical feelings in the body. They'll crash into terrible feelings of sadness and so depression. So they have to just keep taking them well, to eliminate the withdrawal symptoms that might accompany. Some people end up needing to take small amounts for, for years. I'm talking about one-tenth of what doctors prescribe uh, because their brain can't get over the effects of the drugs. I'm taking an antidepressant, but I think I might need more help. Approximately two out of three people being treated for depression still have depression symptoms. I'm on an antidepressant, but I'm still not where I want to be with my symptoms. If your antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. Only Abilify is FDA approved to treat depression in adults when added to an antidepressant. Learn more about Abilify. Call your doctor if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Elderly dementia patients taking Abilify have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor if you have high fever, stiff muscles, and confusion on Abilify, as these may be signs of a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, as these could become permanent. High blood sugar has been reported with Abilify in medicines like it. In some cases, extreme high blood sugar can lead to coma or death. Other risks include dizziness upon standing, seizures, impaired judgment or motor skills, or trouble swallowing. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me. If an antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of adding Abilify. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me. Facing the day is easier. I feel like me again. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me.